Welcome back guys. Last we left this uh, cradle game here we had this vest with numbers on it which apparently is in my hand now that I just loaded this game so how convenient. Alright um, and it looks like 2053 so let's see what we can use that on. Did this have a code? Nope. Okay. Oh wait, maybe my fancy tablet thing, which was here. Uh, it's this one. And that one. Alright. Uh-huh. Flowers. Okay, cheese is good. Oh, well, that sucks. Okay, guess we're on a mission to find my stash. Okay, wait, what's this? I have a radio? I didn't know I had a radio. Alright, changes everything. Blah, 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 blah. Come out of the yurt, straight as the crow. Rock with a snag. Look for an arrow. I like how that rhymed. Alright. Straight as a crew. What's a snag? Oh wait, there's an arrow. Alright. Sorrowful tree. That does look pretty sorrowful there. Box in the sand. Okay. Oh, another arrow. Alright. Um, over... Yeah. Okay. Think we're getting warmer. Oh, what's this? That must be it. Yay! Uh, take that, that always feels weird. Alright, um, I'm taking this out. Yeah. Let's put this one. Yeah. Okay. Then this here. Alright. This thing, yeah. And it was, uh, this thing, right? Yeah, I think. Over, yeah. Where'd the uh, where'd the uh, chest piece go? Can I drop it somewhere here? Oh, there it is. All right, now what? Uh, synchronizer. Ah, yes. Yes, the synchronizer. Yes. What's the synchronizer? Oh, okay. Maybe that's it. Let's try it. 
Oh, it goes there. Okay. Alright, let's give it a shot. Yes! <laughs> I think. Maybe. Don't blow up, don't blow up, don't blow up. Yay! I'm still alive! Well, guess we'll choose this one. Hi. Hey. Can you hear me? Where am I? Somewhere in Mongolia, in some yurt. What happened to me? I don't know. I don't remember anything either. Was it you who switched me on? Yes. Are you a mulger? A, a, a mulger? I don't know what that is. I don't know. But I doubt it. Where did you get my neurochip? I found it in a cache underground. What cache? A long time ago I hid a cache of toys in the ground. You were playing with my neurochip and then buried it in the ground? That's right. Oh wait, that doesn't sound good. Looks that way, but I don't remember any of it. My name is Enabish, I think. And you are? What do you want? That's a weird name. I want to know what's going on here. You're not a mulker. What's a mulker? Oh, there we go. Let's go with this. I don't know what a mulger is. Can you explain? Someone who kidnaps people and sells their substance. Oh, 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 what, what substance? What substance? I don't understand. My name is Ida, and I understand even less than you do. Well, that helps. I do not recognize this body. There's something wrong with it. I can't see anything and I don't feel my legs. What's wrong with my legs? Uh, yeah, about your legs, uh... They're, um, fused together. Kind of like a vase. What? You've got a flower vase where your legs should be. That's ridiculous. I'm scared. Calm down, Ida. Tell me, are you a robot? I'm a human being in an artificial body. Oh, close enough. You mean you've had your body replaced? Half of humanity had their bodies replaced. Where did you get my neurochip? From that, uh, thing with the things in the ground. Ida, I've just now found it in an old cache. The cache you made when you were a child? Yeah, that thing. Yes, if my journal is to be trusted. How could my neurochip have ended up in the hands of a child? Freaking, I don't know. Oh, that's it. That's a good answer. Let's go with that. Ongots brought it. My father's trained golden eagle. I don't know where he had found it. How long ago was that? Long. 18 years ago. Listen, Anabish. I feel ill at ease here and scared. I want to remember who I am and return home. Please help me. I want the same thing. How can I help? You need to call the evacuators. They'll come and take me away. I've been trying to send a request, but it's useless. My marker isn't answering. Uh, what marker? What marker? The authenticity marker. Ah, yes. It's like my passport. It's got all my personal data. All requests must be accompanied by data from the marker, but it appears to be broken. Okay. So what do we do? I don't know. Great. We might be able to use my neural copy number, but I don't remember it. That's great. I remember almost nothing about myself. Just like me. Well, at least you're in your home. You know about your childhood, your family. I'm not sure if I'm home. I don't know this place. Strange. Listen, why don't you start asking me questions? I've been doing that. Anything you wish to know. Maybe that will help sort my memories. Maybe I'll even remember the number. Maybe we should start with... 
This one. Are you all right? I feel something is wrong with this guy. I can't figure out what, but we need to hurry. Tell me about artificial bodies. About bodies? All right. They are called M bodies. Hold on. Why replace people's bodies? Because of the epidemic. There was a virus that spread across the globe. A sterility virus. They couldn't fight it, so they developed this body replacement program. Transferring consciousness from a regular body into a mechanical one. Kind of like a personal refuge? Right. A temporary refuge. People use it to hide from decrepitude. Once the virus is cured, we'll be able to return to our regular bodies. That's a good plan, I think. Uh, let's see. We'll go with... Uh, 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 this one. The virus could be gone by now. It's been years. I don't know. It was just so... No treatment worked. Not antibiotics, nothing. There was only one substance capable of destroying the virus, Passium. But the accumulation process was extremely slow. How was it accumulated? It was extracted from people themselves. Human beings produced it with their nervous system. Nervous system? I don't get it. Well, Passium can only be extracted from emotions. Whenever you experience an emotion, any emotion, your M-body manufactures a little bit of the substance. A substance produced by emotions? Yes. Emotions were the only thing capable of making a remedy against the virus. As a result, Passium skyrocketed in value, far surpassing everything else. And every person, they became... Everybody became a source of value? Yes, although... There were people whose substance was considered more valuable than that of others. Ah, that's shenanigans. Who were those people? People that were special, somehow. They had something. They were greatly respected, but... I can't remember. I think I figured out what's wrong with me. Oh, good. I can't breathe. Uh... Yeah, okay, breathe. Let's go with this one. Breathe? You need oxygen? I simply need to inhale air. It's been inherited from my former body. A reflex. I can't get rid of it. All M bodies have a special module built in for this very purpose. It imitates breathing. Oh, okay. Can I help you somehow? I need a breathing module. Could you find it for me? Oh, sure, yeah, I'll just, uh... Yeah. Where do I look? We're in the middle of the step. The step and nothing else? Describe for me what's around here. Grass? Stuff? The river? Some abandoned complex? What kind of complex? A big dome with multicolored sails. Hold on. Yes, I see it. I've got access to it. The Gerbera Garden. Enabish, I remember this name. I used to have a connection to this place. I think that it's an amusement park. Oh, yay! It looks the part. M-body parts were stored there, in the pavilions. It should definitely have a breathing module. Oh, okay, yeah, the, at a park, of course. Of course. Body parts in a children's park? They were once used in a show, but I don't remember exactly how. All right. All right. I'll try. Find the seventh pavilion. I'll try to find the password to the file database. It may contain my data. If I remember anything, I'll contact you. Um, 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 let's see if we missed anything. Help me understand something. What's that? Um, da, da, da. eh, eh, what's this? Why don't people want to live in M-bodies? It's the panic attacks. You can't get used to them. Each reboot is accompanied by a panic attack. What is that? Fear? Not fear so much as... You start feeling warm and... Almost swampy. Swampy? Come again? 
swampy? I don't know how to describe it. You feel something strange, like you're droning, but it's not a sound, more like a sensation. Monotonous. Anabish, I don't want to remember it. Alright, alright, alright. That's fine. No need to. All right, let's find this breathing thingy. All right, so we go to the abandoned amusement park, which was uh, that thing. Yes, yes. Danger sign. Eh. Ah. Wait, what does it say? Huh. There. Ah. A funny sign. Alright. Now, uh, I'm sure there's a way to get in here. This conveniently placed branch with planks appears to do the trick. Yes! Alright, how convenient. I remembered who those people were. The ones whose passium was regarded as more valuable. It was their genes that made them special. Their DNA had fewer errors. In other words, these were people with good heredity. Such people produce a special kind of passium, which contains a valuable component. Makes sense. It was this component that was needed to fight the virus and not the whole substance. That was why they commanded such respect. Humanity's struggle against the virus hinged on them. Back then, everybody used to say that the emotions of beautiful people were our salvation. Oh, I could write this? Oh crap, wait, 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 what'd I do? What'd I do? Why'd I do that? Where am I going? Uh, let's see, what if we... Can't believe this still works. Alright, that's kind of cool. That don't sound good. Wait, 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 wait. I'm supposed to be going that way, aren't I? Alright, now to find some body parts with breathing capabilities or some such. What? How are these? How are these floating? It's ridiculous. Let's see. If I were body parts, I would be in this weird head. That that's a weird head. Ah! ah! What the fuck? Ah, very funny. Very funny. <laughs> ah! Ah! That freaked me out. Alright, how can I tell which one's the 7th pavilion? Sure hope there's a numerical system. And look! There's a numerical system. Somewhere here? Maybe where this glowy thing is. What's this do? Ooh! Whoa! 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 You're at the location. Hold on. I'll try to open the doors. Alright! Uh... Huh. I don't know if I want to go in here. I think it's a trap. This might be a trap. Since I got nothing else going on, let's do this. Oh great, that's great. Whoa, what is this? What is this? Is this a mini game? 
All right, let's see. Uh, collect 30 blue cubes. Hurl cubes into the stream. Right mouse button, no throwing. Don't fall into the water. Uprising stream. Create platforms. Uh, blue cube to white one. Platform. Right click. Delete the cubes walking away. Um, sure, that sounds simple. Uh, yeah, let's try it. Hold the right click. What the hell's that do? Is that the last one? Crap, crap! Oh, yay! Alright. What's our new task? Find a way to exit the territory. What? The same way we came in, duh. Oh, that looks fun. Yeah! Let's do this. That wasn't so bad. I don't know whether this would be useful, but there were people that were dubbed outsiders. For whatever reason, they sought to spread the sterility virus. They were the reason the virus became a global scourge. But Those how jerks. they did it, or why, that I do not remember. Let's use this bad boy. What the hell is that thing? Ah, too bad. I'm leaving this way. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that fence. Again. New task. What new task? Oh, okay. What? You can't use it. I did that for nothing. Wait, wait, maybe it goes somewhere. Maybe in here? Did you bring the module? Yeah, how do I stick this thing yes. in there? How do I install it? There should be a pipe inside the chest. A trachea. The air passes through it, so you need to connect the module to it somehow. Oh, it's an internal one. All right. Still freaks me out. That still freaks me out. Why can't I reconnect this? Really? Now this don't fit? That's yeah, just great. Thank you. Don't mention it. Finally, I'm breathing. Oh, there it is. I see it now. How goes your search? Did you find the password? Not yet. But I did remember a bit about myself. I used to work here at the Gerbera Garden as a teacher, I think. I remember kids being brought here to watch a show. They would then play in the pavilions, carry body parts from there, and pile them up by the stage for some reason. What an odd amusement park to build. Strange indeed that it was built here. There's something I don't understand. You said it was abandoned, but it's still operating. It's got power. Why wasn't it taken down? That's a good question. There was an explosion. It's full of some poison. Now I'm poisoned. The end. Oh. Do you remember anything about that? 
Um, I think I know what it was that exploded there. Disparatoxin. Yeah, that's what the sign said. Yeah, that was What's it. What's that? That's the substance from which the virus came into being. Ah, crap. The epidemic began after one such explosion. One? You mean there were other explosions? Several hundred, all across the globe. Well, now I'm gonna die. That's Who carried fun. out the explosions? Remember I was telling you about the outsiders? The explosions were their handiwork. Were they terrorists? What was their goal? No goal to speak of. They weren't even doing it on purpose, really. Simply, sometimes their passium capsules would explode in their chests, spontaneously. The emotions generated substance was the cause. What was wrong with it? It had a dangerous component, bitter passium. It's a kind of dark liquid which may suddenly <laughs> turn poisonous and explode. That's from bitter people. Those people were carrying a bomb in their chests. It wasn't their intention to massacre thousands of people and strip the entire race of the ability to procreate. But that's what happened. Wait, dark liquid? Is that that thing that was chasing me? Hmm. But how are they different from the others? Genetic defects. The more defects in the DNA, the more bitter the passium becomes. Outsiders were at once pitied and feared. Nobody wanted to live next to a time bomb. Many outsiders left their hometowns. They didn't want to cause anyone trouble. So that's why they were called outsiders. They were called all sorts of things, including lower class and ugly people. I still remember the slogan. Protect society from the emotions of ugly people. What an unexpected problem for society. But not the only problem. Living in an M-body requires fuel, and fuel can only be obtained in exchange for sweet passion. Provided you have it, which the outsiders did not. They were unwitting spongers. That sweet, sweet passium. What is sweet passium? That's the valuable substance produced by beautiful people. I told you about it. In reality, sweet and bitter passium are two parts of the same substance. Everybody produces both components with their emotions, only in different proportions. People with purer DNA end up with more of the sweet stuff and less of the bitter, and vice versa for the outsiders. Beautiful people are therefore valuable, whereas ugly people are dangerous. So where did the outsiders get the means to live? They were issued poor heredity assistance from the public rescue fund. The fund was founded and sustained by a special tax that was levied on all the citizens. First and foremost on the beautiful elite. A lion's share of the reserves went towards supporting ugly people. Thus, they became a constant headache. Not only spreading the virus, but also draining the rescue fund. <laughs> what kind of response is this? <laughs> Those ugly, poisonous spongers. It was their emotions that were poisonous. Uglies are dangerous merely by living and feeling, in that they deprive the rest of any hope of returning to the way things were. I remember all the heated debates, the frantic search for a solution. And did they find it? Yes, I think so. The committee proposed a hibernation program, putting the uglies to sleep. Yeah, that'll solve everything. Come again? What kind of sleep? Deactivation. A voluntary shutdown. A temporary one until the virus is destroyed. Huh. And many of them agreed, realizing it was the best option they had. I don't know whether it helped or... Hold on. Hold on? What? The password. I think I got the right one. Yes, I'm in. I see the files. Trying to find info on the employees. It should have my data as well. You've got strange eyesight. Why is that? You see virtual files. I wouldn't refuse regular eyesight either. It's all dark, but I can't figure out what's broken. The screen on your face. It's broken. Oh uh, yeah, it's a little bit. A look screen. And yes, it's damaged. Might there be a working one at the Gabera Garden? There probably is, but it won't recover my sight. Oh. Something is up with my lens, and the garden wouldn't have those. Nor do I know where to find them. Well, that helps. Nothing. I suppose I'll look for a lens then. Where? In the field? There's nobody around. Eh, uh, good point. 
What the hell is that? What was that? That's what I just said. Don't know. I'll go check it out. Oh, now it works. That's great. Air shuttle. An air shuttle? What the... Oh, there is an air shuttle. Alright, well, I think we'll wrap this up here today. We'll continue with the air shuttle in the next episode. See you guys later.